guys, it is gorgeous outside today. I have all the windows open. Oh my God, it's so exciting. <sighs> Can't believe it's October in Canada. No, it's November and I love it and I wish it would stay like this all the time. I'm not doing anything special today. I think I'm just gonna chat. I'll show you some tips and tricks. One tip, and I have filmed this before, is I have mixed the CC Cream Original Formula with the CC Cream Nude Glow. <clears throat> Nude Glow, I can't talk. Formula and I really love mixing those two together. So I'll show you that and then I just tap it in. I'm getting ready because I want to show you guys a dress that I bought for my cruise. I splurged a little bit on it, but it looked so pretty. And there's a certain style I like with my body type and I knew this would work and I tried it on last night and it does. So I'm really excited to show you. So I figured I'd better have some makeup on to show you what it looks like since it's a little bit fancier. So the reason I mix the two CC creams is because the original version is a little bit heavy on my skin. And when I mix it with the Nude Glow, it looks like this. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown concealer. And I'm in the color beige. My foundation color is beige, so I just got the beige in the concealer. That's perfect. I think I'm gonna cheat today and use that on my lids as well. A little bit goes a long way. You don't have to use too much. A little dot will do you. Perfect. I'm gonna use a Bobbi Brown bronzer and I'm in the shade medium. When I use a bronzer, remember it's a powder, right? So when you think about it, do I actually need a finishing powder right there? Probably not, especially since I'm a dry skin. I'm gonna show you the Glam palette again. Look, at you can see me. This is something that I'm so glad that I got. It is Natasha Denona's face palette in the color light. And I use this all the time. When I use this, I get so many compliments on it. It's a wonderful palette to travel with. Just a great everyday palette. It is probably the best all-in-one palette that I've ever used. It's quite dirty because I use it all the time. Let me clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the transition color with a fluffy brush and go into the crease haven't tried her shadows they are worth it they're so easy to use easy to blend okay and i'm gonna take this color right here this is the crease color and i'm gonna put it right in the crease when the product has all been distributed that's when i take the brush in circular motions and start moving it upwards because i want that lift at the outer corner so my oldest daughter is turning 23 tomorrow Wah. they're getting old okay and circle upwards I'm gonna use that same color and take it on the outer corner because it, again, is daytime. So I don't need this darker color right here. I may use it as an eyeliner. I do wanna show you. I'm gonna take a short, stiff, angled brush and go into the darker color. And I'm using that as my eyeliner. Only a little bit is needed. I am taking my highlighter and putting it on as my eyeshadow. Kind of makes it look wet. Maybe I should put a little bit of this on. Couldn't help myself. Well, at least you saw what it looked like without that one. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I don't know if subtlety is in my makeup vocabulary. <laughs> no rules, right? I almost forgot liner on the bottom. I'm gonna use the crease shade underneath my lash line. To me, that makes such a difference. It's not that I don't like it without liner. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for that, but it makes my eye look so much bigger. And because it's eyeshadow, it's really soft. A little bit of powder. And that little bit of powder is all that I need. I forgot to show you the blush, but that's okay. I'm gonna take that shimmer and put it here. And I'm gonna highlight right there as well. And <laughs> I'm gonna highlight there. Here's a trick. If you wanna overline your lips without the fear of it looking unnatural, pick a lip liner that is very close to your natural lip shade. So this one is by Bobbi Brown and it's called Pale Mauve, Mauve, however you wanna say it. And you can see, if I put it on my lip, it's hardly noticeable. I have overlined this side, but can you tell really? Like it's really hard to see the stop and start. Now when my lipstick fades throughout the day, it's not gonna be an obvious line. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. All right, let me finish the other side here. Before I add the inner corner shadow on top of this, this is strictly the highlighter, and this side is with the inner corner shadow on top. So the inner corner shadow just amps it up a little bit. And now, there we go. Shine bright like a diamond. 
All right, all done. So what were the lessons today? You don't have to double powder and and this is a great palette. What else? Oh yeah, if you wanna overdraw your lips, picking a lip liner that's similar to your lip color is beneficial. It looks more natural and when it fades off, it fades off more natural. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.